Today we got a truck in the shop with an air compressor that's unloading too early. Right now it's cutting out at around 105 psi, which for this application it's too low. Ideally we want to see it around 120 psi. So in this video I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to adjust your governor to the correct pressure. So before we jump into the adjustment, I just want to make sure the truck's dash gauges are reading correctly. So I'm attaching a pressure gauge to the emergency line and I'm releasing the brakes. Both readings are lining up nicely so we can trust that the dash gauges are accurate. Now before adjusting the governor, take a moment and check the basics. Make sure the signal line to the governor isn't blocked or leaking and that the exhaust ports aren't clogged. In this case the truck's less than two years old but we've already found several loose bolts so it's likely that the engine vibration has just worked the governor out of adjustment. So this is a D2 air governor made by Bendex and it's one of the more common setups out there. Depending on your vehicle you'll usually find the governor mounted on either the air compressor or near the air dryer. To adjust it you'll just remove the screw cap, loosen the lock nut, then turn the stud itself. So turning counterclockwise raises the cutout pressure and clockwise lowers it. On this style, each quarter turn changes the pressure by about 4 psi. So keep track if you're doing it that way. Personally, I prefer to do it with the truck running. I keep my gauge in hand, turn the adjustment screw counterclockwise to keep the compressor loaded, and then let the pressure build. Once it hits my target, so around 120 psi for this case, I'll quickly turn the adjustment screw clockwise until I hear the compressor unload. That's my cutout point. From there, I tighten the lock nut, install the screw cap, and verify on the truck's gauges that everything's working as expected. I'll drain the air and make sure that the cut in and cut out have that same 20 psi split. Now if you've gone through the adjustment procedure and you're finding that the governor won't hold a specific pressure or the split between cut in and cut out seems erratic then you may be dealing with a faulty governor. Just like I mentioned before be sure that all the lines to the governor are clear and unrestricted. The reservoir port should have full system pressure the exhaust port shouldn't be leaking in either the cut in or the cut out position and as a final check leave the unloader line off of the governor and watch it while you build pressure. If it begins to discharge air right around the cut out pressure that tells you that the governor is working but the compressor may not be responding properly. In that case the issue could be internal to the air compressor.